the XNOR gate. The XNOR gate or exclusive NOT OR has two inputs which we will label A and B. There is also an output which we will label F. Each logic gate has a truth table which displays each combination of inputs and how it will affect the output at F. The inputs receive either a logical 1, high input, or logical 0, low input, and this determines whether F will output a logical 1 or 0, 1 being on, 0 being off. The truth table for a two input XNOR gate is as follows. Both A and B equal zero, so F equals one. A equals one and B equals zero, F equals zero. A equals zero and B equals one, F equals zero. A equals 1 and B equals 1, F equals 1. So the XNOR gate will only produce a high signal when both A and B are set to 0 or 1. The Boolean expression for this is F equals A X NOR B. Let's go to the simulator to see the working model. In this circuit, we have placed an XNOR gate with two logic sources at the input. At the output, we have a current limiting resistor and an LED. The LED will only light up when the conditions of the truth table are met. The XNOR gate needs a low input or a high input at both A and B to produce a high output. Both logic sources are set to zero. The LED lights up. Setting the first logic source to one and the second to zero, no output. Setting the second logic source to one and the first to zero, no output. Setting both logic sources to 1 enables current to flow and the LED lights up. This matches the truth table for the XNOR gate we discussed earlier. We can build an equivalent circuit using a combination of NOT, AND and OR gates. The XNOR gate produces the opposite functions of an XOR gate. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will look at combinational logic. Please feel free to leave comments and ask questions. All the best.